Yeah, a lot of you are uh, wondering about the gum problem, the bone loss problem, periodontal disease. And in fact, uh, we like to uh, help you understand the disease. And mostly we'd like to help you understand how we can cure this disease. That deep cleaning, still it can remove some calculus uh, underneath the gum. Uh, but calculus is a consequence of a disease. And the disease, in fact, is not calculus. It may happen there's calculus, sometimes there's none. But the disease is infection. So uh, if you want to treat this disease, just removing calculus is not an end point. It's not uh, something that you want only do this because there's no cure that way. So we know this and we've been curing patients for years, for more than 30 years. So what we want to tell you is deep cleaning results usually in 5 to 20% of healing. So 5 to 20% healing uh, at your dentist's office is not much. So think in your mind that you may have left 80% of the disease after um, root planning and deep cleaning. So if we look at the studies, if you do this in the University of uh, Area where they can make uh, PCR sequencing of the microbes, uh, many times it can, it can go up to 50% pocket closer okay but still uh, many times you still have half the teeth bleeding after deep cleaning you still have half the bone is not um, healed so you keep the disease in fact it's like half drink it's filled or it's empty so this is not such this is not something we recommend so what we used to do and teach for uh, 25 years, uh, teaching many places in Europe, in Canada, and in the United States, is curing the disease. So curing the disease, ask for uh, diagnostic aid, which mainly is the microscope. So we use phase contrast microscope, a hospital grade, face contrast microscope and we take a little sample of saliva with the microbe within the, the gum and we make examination, thorough examination of this uh, dental plaque, subgingival plaque and then we realize what is the real problem. So the real problem is most of the time you have of course some pathogen bacteria, very motile bacteria, and most of the time you have those big parasites. Those are called eukaryotes or parasites or protozoan. Uh, in fact, those are amoeba. Most of the time, about 99% of the period of the disease, you have 99% antamoeba gingivalis, which is a parasite, animalcule that go within your gum and this parasite nourishes from red cell and white cell. So this parasite nourishes from your immune system. So when you have the gingivitis, you have some bacteria, you have inflammatory cell, your immune cells are there. And for some reason, you get this from your neighbor, from your uh, husband and wife, you all together, you get those parasites from um, um, tropical area water which is infested with those parasites. We see this in tropical area, Northern Africa, Egypt, uh, all this tropical region. Those are parasites within the water. Uh, sometimes we see it from the pets, your animal pets, dogs, you're kissing the dog, you get the disease from the dog. Those dogs have the same disease, parasite, amoebas within the gum, and they just go into your mouth and you are infected. So the only way to really, and it is 
probable that we can cure your mouth, you can cure you from the gum disease, but we have to look at this subgingival microbiota. Okay? It's full of bad bacteria, it's full of parasite. The second one parasite we find in about 25% is trichomonas. So trichomonas is a second parasite with flagella, four flagella. You get this one from your uh, surrounding friends, uh, husband and wife, pets again. Dogs have those trichomonas. Uh, trichomonas is well known from a uh, medical doctor, trichomonas vaginalis, which the doctor will, gynecologist will treat you if you have this, but 25% of the time, once on fourth, you have this trichomonas or same, about the same trichomonas, which is called uh, trichomonas tenax, for tenas, tenacity. It sticks into your gum, and then you got the disease. So, uh, having root planning is one thing. It may remove the consequence. Sometimes it's calculus, but it's not the root cause. You have to, if you want to be cured, well treated, don't get the disease again. You have to remove the real cause, the root cause, which are those little bacteria and gingivitis, this inflammatory cells, and those parasites that are eating your immune system so you cannot stop the disease. So you have to remove it. And the only way we can do this, and we do this for 35 years, is using the face contrast microscope. It is very important to have, of course, perfect hygiene, flossing, Brushing, bass modified, four stroke, you do this perfectly. Then you have a dentist or periodontist using the microscope. Cure is possible and is usual in our technique. Okay? There's no doubt about this. If you have a little bit of bone, one third of the bone, you can cure the disease, you can close the pocket and you don't get the disease again when you know where you get the disease, where you get the microbes, so you change your habits so you don't get the disease again. Or you have this uh, dentist or periodontist with a microscope, watch those bugs every year so you don't have them again, okay? It's fairly easy. But we have to have this microscope. In 35 years, I've never seen any parasite into a healthy gum. So you have to know it's parasitic infection. In fact, periodontal disease is oral amebiasis or oral trichomoniasis. Those are parasites within the gum. They use your immune system. They send those uh, granules from the immune system. The neutrophil goes into the, the, the bottom of the um, sulcus and then the bone go away. It breaks the fibers, it breaks the filaments, it breaks everything. So the tissue destruction comes from your immune system destroyed by those parasites. And to get rid of this, the only effective tool is microscope to make sure it is gone. When those parasites, bad bacteria, uh, immune cells are gone, then you have to be cured. Of course, you have to remove calculus, but when it, there's no more infection, it's some kind of easy to remove calculus, and you just have time to cure. So it takes about one year to get completely cured. But you have to be helped with dentists and periodontists who understand this. Most periodontists we meet everywhere in the world, they say, oh, but we cannot cure this disease. It's chronic disease. It is not chronic. It is chronic if your dentist leaves it half cured, of course, still infected. If you remove all the infection, then you get cured. No more disease, pocket closed, no more bleeding. You know what to do home. You know what to do with your environment. Don't get the disease again, don't get gingivitis again. If you don't get gingivitis again, you don't get periodontitis again. It's impossible. So don't get gingivitis. You can do this, of course.
But you have to understand the disease and you have to have a friend dentist or periodontist who can understand this.